All right, here's on metal. Gonna be doing 100% trophies tonight. As you can see, I don't have any trophies earned on this account. So, it's gonna change in uh, hopefully a couple hours. Be getting all trophies. Hopefully in two hours or less. Okay, so start the game. And got pretty fast loading, just jumps right into action. So I have to set my settings here. Um, skip speed, you want that on max. Everything else, it's very secondary. I'll put speedrun timer on so you can see the times. Then you have three save slots. Only gonna be using one for this playthrough because you you can get all trophies in one playthrough. And the trophies are the sit in game does give you all the requirements right off the bat. Shows you what you need to do. No hidden trophies whatsoever. I'll refer to this every now and then to see if I'm on track for certain trophies. Okay, so start new game and then we have to play on hard because one of the trophies is requiring you to play on hard. Yeah, I'll start off and get this ball rolling here. Alright, so first off, punch this toilet, punch this bed bunk, then combine these two. Then you shake this guy, pick up his key, and then select the key. Use the key to get out of here. Then we just keep rolling, rolling. I'm gonna select two because I want the XP. So to get EXP from these guys, we have to. Uh, I, it's not good. Uh, it's fine though. We're, we're just at the beginning. I thought this is a bit tricky to get all the EXP from them because uh, it, there's two guards and both of them are in a kind of not very ideal spot. Or stealth ops. Okay, I'll lure one of them like so. Then do that. And then do that. Okay, cool. Much better. Okay, so I do have to get as many guards as I can because. I have to level up the 10 for trophies, and you can only get experience from these guys when you beat them up when they aren't aware of your presence. So grab this bandages, trigger a save, talk to this guy, then I'll go down here, beat up this guy, knock on this. And do that. I do like this corner punch mechanic. Nice way to beat up guards when they aren't. So they can't see you. And here's a secret. You have to get 15 of these. It's the first one. The only one in this stage as a matter of fact. I should. This right. Okay. So, there's a radio. I do need to use the radio. Got two circuits. I'll combine the circuit with the radio. Make a cryptid radio. So, I think the colonel who is the prisoner there. And this guy looks like he's in. We're going to be in a bad spot here. So, I have to wait him out. To make sure that we 
and actually go through here. Or won't detect me. Really the game name the game here. I took And beat up this guy and then I'll shake him for a handkerchief, which will be important later. I'll shake this guy for another pick up. There's our first trophy, that's for level two. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre. I, I cannot skip this for some reason. Jesus, well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. <laughs> well, okay. I guess that, that's a lesson learned. Don't shake guards when they, when you're in the middle of a level up. Okay, so here's the two toilet doors I need to break down. I do need to break down every toilet door in the game. We gotta break those two. Then this guy. Just wait for him to turn around and I'll go jump him. I'll select ZZZ so the guards asleep. Then I'll break this for urinal. That's my first urinal out of five. I have to get all five urinal spray trophy. Okay, I'll beat up this guy. Then shake him for a watch. I do need at some point throughout the game. Beat up these two guys. Then, very important, I have to take this detour to go here. So I can get a, a second urinal. Alright, so there's urinal number two. And let's see here. I will beat up this guy. So this these two are telling jokes. I need to wait for the joke to end and then I can smack both of them. The soldier says it's from my wife's garden. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Here we go. That's the end of the joke. When they do that, just go punch them like this, and that's that. Okay, so now we are gonna fight the boss. We're gonna combine stick with eye patch and then uh, radio with circuit to make another one of these. Call colonel, then fight the boss. Boss is just a matter of timing, it's pretty random. So I just need to not get hit by the grenades and time my shots accordingly, and he should go down at some point. Either he or I will go down. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, well, he's not very nice this time. Ooh. Okay. I got him. All that matters. I search. Now we search him, get a hook, combine the hook with the rope, collect the rope. Uh, I'm gonna pick up that uranium ball, because I do need quite a bit of it for later. Okay, I pick up everything that's important. Two urinals, one secret, and two toilet seats. Toilet doors. Okay. It's good. We got perfect. First, you break this trash pile, get the severed arm, and use the severed arm. Alright, and then I'm gonna go break this trash heap. Then this guy's pretty interesting. You have to break this globe open, then use the globe to smack the boss. Oh, let's 
pretty bad. Oh, shoot. Alright, cool. Okay, I got the level 3. And for level 3, I'm gonna select healing. You can only select one of two perks. I'll pick healing. I can heal faster. I'll pick up these blue drums. Break this one for another blue drum. Alright, then I'm gonna load here. Loading's pretty quick in this game. So. I loaded so I, those fishmen won't spawn too early. So I'll break this to get the files, then I'll break that. Call the kernel for dialogue, then I'll make a save here. There's no toilet door, but then you can save your progress by going to the potty. Um, like Mike. Okay, I'll shoot this guy. There we go. It's good stuff. I do need to stun five guards for a trophy. Oh shoot, messed that up. So I got one of them. That kind of stinks. Oh lord, just one at a time. Grab this handkerchief. Okay, so we'll grab this meat here. It's sort of required for progressing, and then I'll break these crates for some more balls and gasoline. Gasoline is especially important. Another handkerchief, cool. Mr. Fox, up. I'll just select the uh, beat here. Then I'll just go to the next screen and throw it. So I'm bleeding right now, but if I reach a save point, I will automatically heal my life to full when I reload. So it's not a big deal. Next save point is coming up in a bit. Let's see here. I, I gotta make another radio here. Then reload, and there's health stack. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the missable stuff. Oh yeah, I also need to do this as well. Uh, you know, I, I need to hotkey the uh, hotkey the first aid kit and the platform. All right. I do need to have the shredder kill three of these or five of these fishmen guys.
There's also another two toilet doors. Oh wait, I, I missed the secret. Actually. Might need to go back and get that. Oh wait, shoot. I forgot to have the platform. Alright, let's go back and get that secret so I don't forget. This is one I get in here. If I have these splits to remind me. Alright, got that. I should be able to have the Shredder kill all these. Oh no, fuck. Oh well, it stinks. Okay, I'm gonna actually do these properly. Get the secret. Man, that sucks. Yeah, I, I knew I should have saved, but like, I'm actually gonna save this time. That was pretty bad. I did have to go back for that secret, but whatever. The progress is saved now, so it should be good. Okay, this should get me that trophy. Finally. The only place you can get it in this game. Oh, you have to get it out as soon as possible. Out of the way as soon as possible. I'll do some combining in a bit. So, flamethrower, then I'll do um, bottle with gasoline with handkerchief to get Molotov, and then flamethrower drum with gasoline to get flamethrower. And I have to be a little careful with this because I'm playing on hard mode. So, this flamethrower, I think, takes uh, this. Uh, it takes less uses for it to fill up its meter on hard mode compared to other difficulties. And if it fills up, it blows up and you are dead. So I don't want to make this flamethrower blow up in any scenario. Alright, let's go. Wait, that's not good. 
Oh god, there's so many squirrels. Tail. Wow. Alright, so now here's another secret. Okay, so for the boss, I need to not hurt it with a flamethrower whatsoever for a trophy, so I need to make sure not to do that. I have to go use this platform and just walk up to it, punch it. And this is why this boss is a bit of a pain to do this challenge on it hard because of these squirrels. You gotta select six because it the other options give you more than six tentacles. Oh gosh, we're in a kind of bad spot here. Damn it. Yeah, this is what makes this fight kind of a pain the ass on hard. The squirrels. Okay, I actually have no this time. I need to make sure that not to touch this boss at all with a flamethrower. Otherwise, I'll, all my efforts will be for not. Oh, this is a bad spot. Yeah, I need him to be a little on the left side of the screen rather than the right. And I need to have no squirrels pursuing me. Okay, this looks alright. I can sneak in a few hits here. Eventually, if you drag the fight on long enough, the platforms will break, I think, and the squirrels will stop spawning. But we're not at that point yet. Okay, this definitely looks good. Okay, that was a good cycle there. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I'm have to bail on this. Alright, I cannot touch the tentacles at all. Okay, this looks good. No more squirrels, hopefully. Yeah, the squirrels have stopped spawning. I just hope it will actually give me the trophy when I eat the boss. <clears throat> there we go, all the size. Good. It's the most tedious trophy in this whole... In this whole run. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. Alright, so... Do that, and we're out of here. Mr. Fox, the gallows noose.
I had. Okay, there's our urinal. I think I will use slingshot on this guy. Knock this guy out too, for good measure. Ooh, they're kind of close together. It's... Mike, are you okay? <laughs> okay. And you select the wire. Use it on yourself. And here we get the pistol. The moment I get the pistol, I'm gonna unkey it. Alright, so I'm gonna do this thing where I punch and shoot the guard so I can actually get experience from him. I need to heal 20 guards over the course of the game, and that's kind of how I'm gonna rack up some of those heals. Right, we need to call the colonel up to get that file. And here's a bullet slot. I need to get 10 of these throughout the game to get a uh, Trophy for having 90 bullets at once. Alright, we already got the sequel. And coming up, I need to punch five of these guys. They only take three punches. So they do retain their health in between room transitions, I can just go in and out of receptor cycles. I just need one more get punched and I'll finish it off. Trophy that is. There we go. Okay, so for the next boss I'm gonna look Molotov. Immediately throw it at the boss. Knock off like half its health. Then just fire away. Should be able to get it next time. Boss defeated. All right, cool.
Okay, so there's a couple trophies I can get here. First, I need to break this to get the main item. I'll be using it on the next floor. Break this to get sodium. Break this to get water. Break this to get chloro. And then break this to get form. And I have to merge chloro and form to get chloroform. Then I'll use sodium and water to get a trophy for killing myself. So now I can go pick the ladder. And then I'll. Go back the way I came. Ooh, that's a bit sketchy. I did dodge it. Ah, oh, yeah, I need to have this suit on. So this will get me through the next section. Bunch of thermal sensors. Alright, so I'll get to the thermal sensor part, turn this thing on. Break this open. Break this open. These batteries I do have to collect to progress. And call kernel when I get the files. Get this battery. And when the thermal sensors detect you, it's an instant alert, and we really don't want alerts in any form. Alright, so I'll select GRD cards. I can get an extra three experience. Two boxes. Alright, so next section will have me try to reach an elevator in under a minute, but we can just bypass it by using this floor form here. And we shoot these guys down so we can get two more heals in. And then we'll finally combine this to make the uh, rag chloroform rag <sighs> and it, that <coughs> warp thing the chloroform will simply give me that trophy And say nothing. Thanks, Doctor. All right, so now we're gonna go to the boss here. For the boss, I can have to cheese it by using a Molotov. See where he goes. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot, missed. Alright. 
Now I have to go back for the other secret. It's only accessible after I get this card. And I do need to go to the secret because there, it has a lot of bullet slots. I, it's pretty out of the way, but I there are a lot of bullet slots here, which makes this secret really valuable. And there's three bullet slots just in this room alone. That's what makes it really good. I'm already at four out of ten slots needed. Okay, I'm done with that secret. Now, time to get out of here. Go down. And this is where the the next few chapters is going to be where the chloroform rag is going to shine because uh, I do need to sleep 20 enemies and uh, chloroform rag the only way to do that to my knowledge it's also very good as a stealth item I don't need to go here. Okay, there's a secret here. I'll get that. And... And... Oh, first I need to call Colonel, then... Go here, I'll pick Smell. Equip the suit, so I can just walk past these dogs. And then after that, I'll use to do some more Chloroform Rag shenanigans. I'll grab this guy, and then I will... Um, do the punch shoots on this guy. Then I'll go here for secret. Then I'll punch shoot this guy. Alright, so next area there's some turrets that'll shoot at you. So you can dodge them by just rolling. So the moment you see a turret pop up, just roll and you'll be fine. Roll, 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 roll. Roll. And here I'll have to equip the thermal suit. Okay, I'll we'll beat this boss, then I'll get the next secrets. Ah, frick. Damn it. Okay. This is the last one. 
All right. Done and done. Okay, leveled up too. That's pretty good. Could have used that for this boss, but whatever. How am I doing with my 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 heels? Ten. So I'm halfway done with the heels. I'm actually gonna get. Um, I'm gonna get. Six free heals in the next, in a couple chapters. So it's, I don't need to worry about being low on kits. And get another bullet slot, another secret. So do this and get out of here. Alright, so T and we will get out of here. I will open this locked door for the back reason that I need this key to begin with. The metal detector. Do, 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 do. Got the metal detector. Now, I'm done with the case, I'll just equip the metal detector. Then I'll use it to go through the minefield, which is the main reason why we had to take this detour to begin with. Alright. There's actually not a lot of mines in here this time around. Compared to a previous patch. There were a lot of mines in the previous the first release of this game. So that made it really tedious to go through, and the range of the mine detector wasn't that high, but I'm glad they addressed this so it's a lot more tolerable to go through. I would be doing like a tiptoe every time I Mine's had to scan. But yeah, I'm really glad this was addressed. Make it more... less of tedious, everybody. Okay, so I will uh, need to get through this and I will be done with the mind detector forever. Until the next time I decide to replay this stage, of course. Alright, I'm done with the mine detector. Good. Now, we're just gonna go in a half circle. Until we meet a corpse. Wow. So, meet the corpse, go to it, then I'll go back. The layout has changed, so I'm just gonna go in another half circle, then circle back. To meet the same exact corpse. Then I gotta encounter that. Another corpse. I gotta go to it again, which will change the layout again, then do the same thing. Talk to it, then that's it. Alright, so here's a maze I need to go to. So, south, east, south. Then west, then west again, 
and south, south, then east, north, then east, east, then a second east, then north, east, then south, south, then west, west, and then south for our final one. Then get this secret here. I saw someone behind the fence. And we're out of here. Okay. Next, we're going to be using the We're going to be using the rag a lot. Yeah, I, I didn't need to come here. Never. On that. Shoot. Oh, no. All right, right, got him. I just knew. Okay, so I'll, for this one, I have to put any immobilized soldiers in a building. So yeah. Uh, Nice thing about the the rag is that it allows you to drag them while you're using it. I'm gonna wait for this horde to pass. Nothing I can really do to like. They don't give me any exps. I have to avoid them as much as possible. I'll wait for this guy to turn, then I'll grab this guy. There's a secret here. I believe I did get the toilet door, so... It's that. And break this for a secret. I think there's a bullet slot here. Yep, there is. Okay, that's a secret done. Okay, it's a little too risky right now, so I'll save and then reload to reset that marching troops. I have to sleep this guy. Okay, cool, got him. I'll just drag him in here. was a blood slot there. Alright, they're a little too crowded right now, so I'll save. Yeah, I'll reset that. Oh, nice. Nice position. I think I'm gonna have to wait for the troops to pass. They're coming. And I have to see where the guard on patrol is at. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it didn't work.
Okay, well, I got two of them. I seem to drag this guy into the building. Be done with the two. Then I'll go back and save. All this is has to be done so I can have as little room for error as possible on chapter 9. Yeah, um, you actually do need to get almost all the possible experience in the stages. We even have a shot at at getting level 10. Uh, I just need to wait for this warrant caution to wear off, then I'll Before peeing. get out of here. Before. Shit. Ah, oh, come on. I I'm just gonna reset. That's not worth it. Okay. Oh no, that's probably bad. Okay, I just need to get out here without being seen. I'll be fine. Okay, now, there we go. The cycles for these guys are pretty short, seems like. Yeah, I will save that progress. But we don't want to that again. I can probably take some liberties with skipping a few guards here because I will have more than enough to get level 10 if I skip most other guards or, or, or if I get every other guard in the other chapters. Okay, I'll just wait for them to pass by and then I'll Oh shit. Well, that was awful. Uh, man, I should wait for them to pass by. Okay, let's do this properly and do not press any buttons until I am they are completely out of the screen. Wait for them to pass. I'll go back and save so I can get to the next two guards. Next two guards do guard a 
toilet. Which I do want to get to. So yeah, this will be the last stretch of this area. Then I'll be saving at the new area. Oh, that stinks. Alright. Just make sure this guy on the right is not pain the ass. Needs to start turning. Okay, good. Ah, what the heck is. And the thing is, he's guarding a toilet door, so I do need to get to that one that is being guarded. Alright. You just try it. Okay, got these guys uncounted for. Doesn't matter if I didn't get to sleep, I should have more than enough guards later on. Okay, I got the toilet door. Now I just need to get this guy's quest line done. Then the drill sergeant, optional fight. So, it's uh, just dialogue base. I just have to select stolen. Clue and place. Boss defeated. At this point, there's only three guards left to deal with. Let go of that button, that's not how that's supposed to go. As I entered Okay, so I need to do this quest immediately. The sealed permission, then I'll have to go back. And you should get the fourth urinal. Alright, there's urinal number four. Just to make sure I have secured it, I'll go save in this. Toilet nearby. All right. And get some grenades. Get the bulletproof vest.
I have to wait for those the troops to pass. Oh wait, seems like they're already good to go. Alright, now that that's done, let's go and beat the boss. Oh, I need to reslow that. Ah, shit. Okay, so for the next fight, there's two trophies I need to get. I have to destroy five trucks. I can do that. I can do one of those right there. I gotta destroy five trucks before the boss does. Let's get the rocket launcher here. So I've destroyed four. I mean two so far. And I also also need to destroy everything else in the arena. I should be at the point where I'm gonna get machine gun fire. Yep. One more and I'm done with this trophy. Oops, shit. Okay, done. Now I just have to kill this boss. Boss defeated. Alright, we're done here. 22 over 22, perfect. Alright. The truck stopped. Then here I can get a trophy by blowing up five rates at once. And also I'll get six. Or, see, yeah, I'll get six free enemy heals here. Because I have to just. Yeah, I'm forced to blow these up with the engineers, and then I have to heal them. There is a secret I. Which does have a lot of the bullet slots. I should actually be at 10 by the time I've done this. Yeah, I'm more than enough. Alright. And 
then here we go. We're gonna eat these guys. Level 8 already. I am. How am I doing? 14 sleeps. Oh, I'm only at 12, huh? Those guards actually don't count, interesting. They did count in earlier updates, but I guess they don't this current one. Hmm, that's interesting. Toilet door is at 8. I'm on track. Secret tomb is done a while ago. I have to go here for a toilet door. Put this. Toilet door broken. And now I have to go back to the submarine. And then after that, we will go and go through this underwater area. There is a secret on in this underwater area. So I have to make sure I get it. It's in this very room. Right here. Pretty quick secret to get. Then the boss of this area does have a trophy associated with it, so I have to make sure I get that before I exit the stage. And that should be the end of that chapter. Okay, I'm gonna have to break that. Fine. Safe. Then I can just break the top two mines and I'll be fine. Definitely do not want to bump into any of those mines because they will instant kill you. you had to okay, here's the boss and I have to beat it using the minimum number of missiles. Which is six. It's one. Shit, gotta restart that. I was out of position there. Alright, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm so close. I should have just let them eat me, what it was. Alright, I'll let him eat me. It's not gonna instant kill me. There we go. Boss defeated.
And I should get the last urinal right here. And there's our urinal trophy. Under the Her <sighs> Gotta wait for this guy to pass. I do have to open this for a required item to press. And I'll open this for another one of those. And there is a secret here. There are two secrets here, but one takes a little longer to get to than the other, so I'll just not get that one. I don't need to get all the secrets, I just need to get enough. 15. I'm already at 14, so I just need one more. There's a lot more where that came from in the later stages. Okay, save there, and then... Open this. I do want to sleep with some of these guys. Not really in a good spot right now, so I have to wait for their... Yeah, I gotta wait for them. Okay, grab this guy, shit. Ah, oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, this is one of the trickiest ones to do because... Uh, well, they kind of spot you right away. I'll wait for these two to both turn their backs towards me. I'll grab them both. Alright, got them both. It's good. And at this point, I'll swap to the rockets. Just heal here. Alright, so here's this a boss. Pretty kind of difficult your first time through, so just need to blow up crates and walk in a circle. Alright, done. Boss defeated. Hmm, 
I think I will shoot both of them. It doesn't matter that I don't get experience from them point because I think I have enough. There's some RNG with this boss, but he's generally not going to be that hard if you just make sure not to crash. Alright. Okay, so I have to break all these bamboo shoots to get the beads. Need all of them. Then we'll go here to the gate. Want to make sure you hug the top area so the cameras don't see you. Wait. Then get the bolt cutter. Get the bolt cutter. I think I want to hot key the bolt cutter for this. Then use the bolt cutter to open the gate. And there's a toilet door in this next area. So when you break it, you should have 10 toilets broken. Yep, I have 10, so it means I'm on track to get the all toilet doors trophy. Alright, I'm gonna wait on that camera. I need to break the box that's up there. Get the required item. Okay, the camera sight is off. Mm. May not be good. Let's try it. Okay, there we go. Safe. Now, let's see here. Break this, break that, break this, I guess. Then I still need one more rope just out of this area. I have to make my way back to the other scene. I'm out of there, so I have to go here, take a detour. I have to disable the cameras first, so I can't get past that area yet. Uh, I don't need to come here, because there's an auto save coming up. Okay, I need the uh, rag. I'll sleep these two guys coming up. I should hit level 9 after you neutralize this guard. Alright, so that's the trophy for sleeping 20 guards, it seems. I'm at 14. You know what, I'll break this for my final secret. There, it's, it's right there, so... Might as well. That's the final secret that's required for a trophy. 
So I don't need to worry about secrets anymore. I have to throw these uh, EM grenades. I don't like them, so I'll go back and do that. Okay, I didn't actually hit level 9. Alright. So when you get this pizza box, you have to actually like examine it, trigger a flag. Can I get this extinguisher? Use it on pizza. Okay, say pizza and then pepperoni. Done with that stage. Pretty short stage overall. As I Alright, so here I have to be a bit careful here. Select exterminators. Okay, now level 9. Increase, you have to pick light munitions expert for this one. I'll go here and break a toilet door. Okay, they do see you. I think I'm actually okay with like in letting a few of them see me. Okay, this one didn't see me for some reason, so I'll just destroy him. You have to do this otherwise to get experience from them, otherwise they'll see you and then no more experience. That guy didn't give any experience. Alright, that's fine. There's more than enough enemies to go around here. So I'm at 15 guards. Alright, so here I have to destroy all the enemies here, which are the spiders. Throw a grenade at them and then punch them while they're stunned. Pretty self-explanatory. 
Although they are very aggressive if they see you. You have to be careful. It's especially this last room is a bit of a pain in the ass. But any one of them caught you. Yeah, all spiders have to die for the trophy. No going around it. And I'll just go break these crates for... the more grenades. It should be more than enough to go to the next section. I'll save. Okay, this one's a bit tricky because you have to like take off your suit that it's the only thing that keeps you from taking damage in this room. Then throw a grenade and then you have to unequip your suit so you can actually punch. It's not too bad once you get the hang of it. Especially if you've been collecting most of the secrets. Shoot, miss. That one. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I have to time my last my EM grenade correctly for this one because uh, it's uh, I, I need at least two to get past the next room. Okay, all spiders are dead. Good. I think I have to wait on this camera here. And then I have to use one here. Then thankfully there's a stack of grenades here on the other cameras coming up. Alright, so... Okay, here's where I'll try to get some... Some more healings. Ah, oh, fuck. Whatever, it's too late now. Seventeen. Not to heal myself once. Okay, I, I can just heal these last two guys for trophy. There we go. Alright, cool. Got two trophies there. So I no longer have to worry about shooting the guards at all. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go through this entire floor yet, but I do need to clear out these two guards first. 
so it'll be a little easier later on. Okay, so I'll punch this open, get the wire, then I'll punch these, get the clamps. Probably should just use like a grenade on them. Too late now though. A okay, wire, and then I will break this grating. Not sure what that even is. I'll break that structure and then I'll combine these to make wire with clamps. Okay, so use it on here. So I need to do uh, red, white, red, white, and black, green, and then yellow, blue. Then after that, we're done with the wire clamps, which the bolt cutter, and then you do blue, red, black. And now we have to visit the helicopter. Trigger the next flag. Then that's our that's it for this floor. We are done. Done here, so we're just gonna go to floor three. Okay, and this is where the slingshot will come in handy. Got him. Okay, uh, that's the slings shot trope. Done. So I can just get here, here, and get my ninety bullets as well. So now that I've done that, uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a save here by taking this elevator up and down. I don't have to get those two guards again for experience. Ah, well. This is why I didn't want to risk a save. This is why I went to save, because this was a bit tricky. Okay, so here's two toilet doors. Gotta break them, of course. Save. I will knock this guy out. Just to make it easier. Alright, got him. So I should be able to level up to 10 after I get rid of the guards here. Okay, looks like I'll get it when I beat the boss. It's coming up soon. Okay, save. The boss is uh, not that difficult. Shoot with your pistol. Then when he slashes you, you just switch the rockets and then fire. That's it. Easy boss. Uh, I don't care about what perk I get. Okay, so there's level 10.
Might need to wait for that guy to turn around. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're in the clear. I've knocked out every guard that's in the way. So there's nothing stopping me from going down now. At this point, I should have almost all the trophies. Yeah, all the trophies coming up, I'm gonna get in the next sequences. See, just making sure hard toilet doors. There's one more toilet door in the next chapter, which is the final chapter. Alright, so here's the maze. I have to get through the maze without using a... without breaking any gates. If you just follow the exact path I'll take, then... you should be able to get through it. It's the same every time. There's also ghosts that you need to kill. X2 bullets to kill them. If they grab you, they do take a bit of health, anyways. I think I'll use it here. Alright, so shoot this here, then go down, then go up. Just keep going up, you can't go up anymore. Then after that, keep going right, up, and then go right. Then on the next intersection, you go up. Then right, then up, and there's one more ghost in the way, then you're home free. Okay, there we go. A lot of the trophies are relating to beating the game, so I'll be able to get almost all those once I'm done with this. I do have to break one toilet door though. First we need to collect some C1s. Okay, there's two and then there's two more in one room. Then you combine all the C1s to make C4, then combine C4 with the watch to make C4 bomb. Then after that I'll enter the door here, then select God, then pick this guy up, the colonel you've been talking to the whole time. Okay, we'll trigger a alert, not an alert, caution. Just stay here, just keep punching them, you'll knock them all out. Easy peasy. And then we'll trigger another alert here. I'll do something similar, but since there's too many guards, there's four this time. I have to back off a bit. Okay. There we go. They're all knocked out. Take him to the elevator where I can get my last few trophies. Then, last toilet door is over here. Okay, there. It's done. Got the trophies, I can just reload my save. 
I don't need any more bullets. I have more than enough. Do need the EM grenades though. And rocked, probably. Okay. Now we can pick up the kernel and go back to the elevator. Then in start the final boss fight. Okay, so shoot down the drones. Okay, there's a trophy here for beating this this tank without the EM grenade, so we'll do that. It only takes like three rockets and two grenades to down. Oh no, three rockets and three grenades to down it. That's yeah, pretty easy. Then we'll have to swap the EM grenades to, for the final phase. Throw your EM grenade where the shots are coming from and then just fly away. That's it, you're done. Boss, Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. Alright. minutes later when I should get all of the trophies. I'm missing here. There we go, all trophies obtained. And that's all trophies for on metal. All done in one sitting. Okay, I guess I'll just let the credits play out and uh, that'll be that. Yeah, overall it's a pretty fun game. I definitely recommend it, especially if you like Metal Gear and old school games. Definitely has a lot of uh, charm to it. Definitely captures the spirit of uh, Metal Gear. The Metal Gear games that most people love. Yeah, overall, it's uh, it was fun to do this run. It's uh, like one hour and forty-one minutes. I think I only had one like really bad mistake with the chapter two shenanigans, which it didn't even cost that much time. Uh, you know, now that I'm seeing these credits, I do think the color of the font is a bit of an awkward choice for the names, given the background. Maybe they should do something about that on the a later update. I think I would prefer like a darker color, bare minimum. And the, the developers have also been pretty responsive to the feedback. They've definitely heard what people like and don't like about the game and adjusted accordingly for a better gameplay experience. So I remember the uh, trophy for beating Sewer Junk without the flamethrower was not obtainable on the first update of this game because if I think it was because if you had the flamethrower equipped in any capacity it would lock you out of the trophy but they fixed that so you just have to damage it without the flamethrower 
fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to Yeah, it's now obtainable in one playthrough as I have shown. The colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by. Said he'd give me 100 bucks. 100 bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just for school. Yeah, dude. Alright, 143. I guess it includes the credits. Alright. Yeah, that was on metal, all trophies.